is a $5,000 soccer ball lined with $100 bills. Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lindsay and this is Dan. And today we have the most expensive soccer ball that you have ever seen. For I sure. have never seen. This is the Louis Vuitton 1998 French World Cup soccer ball that they made specially for that limited edition. And this is a $5,000 soccer ball. It has their name on it, so it costs a bunch of money. This is the Louis Vuitton ball, and it comes with this. What is this? You don't want to have to carry it. You can just go. That's not what it's meant for. You're supposed yeah. to hold it. The World Cup is coming up, and soccer, football, there are fans all around the world, and Louis Vuitton is a French company. When the World Cup came to France in 1998, they made this commemorative soccer ball for it. Wait, wait, wait. What does this say? Coated fabric with cowhide leather trim. Nice. You have just purchased an original Louis Vuitton creation which has its own unique number, 466. With this soccer ball, Louis Vuitton celebrates the most important sporting event of 1998. So the retail value of this thing was $5,500 when it came out. We bought it online. We were able to get it for cheaper because it's been 10 years since the World Cup in France. It is the real deal. The World Cup 2018 is starting in a couple of weeks in Russia. So I'm really excited about that. I have more to tell you about that at the end of the video, so stay tuned to that. Let's take this thing out of its weird case. Whoa, that was so easy. And then I think we'll keep this and not destroy it, and then Looks we cool. could put something else inside of like it. Like a basketball. So this is the ball. Feel it. It feels small. It does feel a little bit small for a soccer ball. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it bounces like a regular soccer ball. Oh, I, you're I can like, head it. You're like soccer. -y. I feel like we should try using it. <laughs> We've cut open a few soccer balls in our day. Why don't we take this outside and kick it around a little bit? Because why would we have a fancy soccer ball and not kick it around and try it first before we destroy it? And we're back inside. My face kind of hurts from Lincoln throwing it. He did a good job. I didn't throw it that hard. I could have thrown it harder. Let's destroy it. This is the dullest knife. I can't cut it with that. Okay, this hatchet's okay. Here we go. Ready? Ready. That's a strong ball. Ooh, maybe it's worth it. This is called super dull hatchet. We need a knife. Right here. Stab it. Right in the middle of the LV. LV. Wait for all the air to come. There it is. Uh, Louis Vuitton. This is probably not the sharpest of knives, so I can't give them all that credit yet, but that is pretty good. We couldn't find our razor blade. It sounds oh, like popcorn. I punctured the inner bladder. This does have a bladder to it, and I punctured it. This tool is for cutting sheetrock, I think. This is going to take a while. You can time lapse this one. <gasps> Pac Man! <laughs> it looks like Pac Man. <laughs> It has a bunch of little dirty things on yeah, its, its tongue. Yeah, its tongue is nasty. Is this not like the Demogorgon from Stranger Things? It does look like it. Lincoln doesn't know that show, but... <laughs> now I want to watch Stranger Things because I want to see a guy like Pac-Man go... Yes. It does look like it's a bit... It's high quality because look at the like, stitching inside of there. See that? So we've cut open a few different soccer balls before, and yeah, to Lincoln's point, this has it does have different panels to it. First of all, yes, it does have a nice bladder. I've never seen a bladder like this in a soccer ball. Yeah. It's just this orange material, which I don't understand what all the creepy little black marks on it. It really does look like it has some kind of disease. This is some strong cow leather, yeah. right? It is from a cow. Yep. Did 
you know cows kill more people than sharks every year? I read it in a book. Do more people get struck by lightning or killed by cows? Hey Hunter, each one of the Louis Vuitton panels is individually sewn, which is actually pretty good quality. In 1970s was the first year that they ever came out with the soccer ball that everybody's seen, which is like black here, white here. And they did that because the TVs were all in black and white, so if you made a ball that had black and white dots, it could be easier to see on the camera. Right. I read it in a book. This is more of like your old school way, but when you're making more of like a decorative type soccer ball that just has Louis Vuitton all over it, it makes sense why they would they would put the different stitching. The quality feels good, so yeah. I, I can see why this would be more money than your mass produced soccer ball that's gonna be out there on the market because, I mean, even the stitching, you can see the stitching are these giant black type of um, threads right there. It just feels like it's like rich, thick, good quality. I think it's really good quality, but I don't think it's worth $5,000. Probably not $5,000. That brings us to our sponsor for today's video, and it is Audible. Audible is a great thing for this summer, whether it's for the World Cup, or you're going to the beach, or you're going on a road trip. Audible has a special code for all of our viewers right now. You can go to audible.com slash what's inside, or you can actually, if you're watching this on your phone, you can text what's inside to 500, 500, kind of cool. Very and, cool. And you can get 30 day free trial of Audible and also get your first book downloaded for free. One of the books that I've been listening to is Pele, Why Soccer Matters. Pele talks about the entire history. He was the greatest soccer player of all time. Better than Messi, better than David Beckham. He scored more goals in the World Cup than anybody in the history of the World Cup. You can listen to it on iOS, on Android, on your computer if you want to. Use our code audible.com slash what's inside or text what's inside to 500, 500. Will Louis Vuitton make another $5,000 soccer ball? I don't know, but if they do, I'm not gonna buy one and cut one open, so don't tell no. us to do it, because we're not gonna do no. it. Bye! Three, two. Okay, let's do it again. Don't get up here. <laughs> not on my ear. What? Ow. That was a bad idea. But Lincoln got some good shots in. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>